keybinds, option settings, the one thing you can do that truly is a click of a button, getting better at the game just like that. A lot of people try to sell you get rich quick schemes and well option settings and keybinds actually are that if you swap out to better more optimal options you immediately become better at the game with pretty much no effort required that's why it's so popular for players to ask for keybinds of pro players and that sort of thing so uh today let's go ahead and get you better at the game with a click of the button by going into the option settings and seeing what keybinds can improve your game in overwatch the first and most obvious one, but also the most useful, is Quick Melee. By default, it's bound to V, but it's a bit awkward when you're trying to use all of your abilities and then you have to hit V because there's lots of melee canceling in this game, especially if you're playing something like a Winston at Doomfist, if you are using reload cancels with Soldier or Ana, it's awkward to be going like R, V, R, V, and doing all this stuff. You want to offload a little bit to your mouse, so I bind quick melee to the back mouse button on the side. If you don't have side mouse buttons, well, it's 2017, man. What are you doing? Anyway, with the mouse buttons on the side, it means that any combo becomes much, much easier that involves quick melee. Next, let's talk about Tracer. This is an interesting one because it's not really a unique keybind because you can see that Tracer's alternate fire, her, her blink, is both bound to right click and in the default options, it's shift as well. So you can either press shift or right click for the blink. However, you have to choose one or the other. Most players only use shift or they only use right click. And a lot of players do use shift because on the actual ability, it says left shift right here. I used to use shift as well, but then I forced myself to switch to right click and it is so much, I could noticeably in, uh, I could noticeably see very easily the increase in my ability as tracer. The reason for this is you, be, you have so much more freedom when you're using right click as opposed to shift. When you're using shift and you're trying to strafe around, you're trying to use your movement ability, you have to use shift the entire time. So if you want to like blink right, you have to go right shift and it kind of overloads your left hand or your right hand if you're left handed, it all depends. But if you offload the blink to your right click, now suddenly you can freely use your movement abilities while right clicking and still blink around. So it's difficult to do this with shift. Notice that was the speed I did it on uh, with shift. It, you know, I was trying as hard as I could there. And with right click, I can do it almost instantly. See? So start using right click, break the bad habit of using left shift and your blinks will be so much more fluid and so much faster. Next up, we have jump. Jump is by default bound to spacebar, which is good. I like this. And I use the space bar for jump in a few different situations, it's useful. But I think mouse wheel is also essential for jump. Not just on Lucio, like we're gonna see here, but on all heroes. So Lucio is the obvious one, and a lot of people put the mouse button on Lucio because you want to wall ride as quickly as possible once it comes off of cooldown usually. And if you have it on mouse wheel down, you can just continue to spam jump commands until it clicks. So you always have instantaneous crisp wall jumps. But in Overwatch, it's not actually super rare to want to jump on the first frame of landing on the ground. First of all, I mean, it's just kind of useful in general. Let's say you're spamming jump, you can always hit it on the exact first frame so you never stop moving. Because if you're using spacebar, for example, I'll start using spacebar, it's good. But if you miss a jump, if you time it too early, you awkwardly stop jumping. And if you were trying to spam jump the entire time, it can be a bit bad for your movement. In Overwatch, because you have no penalty for jumping around, a lot of times it is good to spam jump. Uh, not, not not all the time, check out my movement guide, but sometimes it is, and during those instances, you want to have it on the mouse wheel so that you can always hit it on the proper frame every time and never screw it up. But there are actually several times with any hero, not just Junkrat like I'm gonna show, where you are propelled through the air by something like a concussive blast or a junk rat, drunk rat mine or something like that. And if you jump on the first frame, of landing on the ground, you actually carry that, mem that momentum with you and you go a little bit fast, a little bit further on the jump. Kind of like bunny hopping in CS, but I mean, it's not exactly right. Uh, but having this option to jump on the mouse wheel is super important for these instances. Of course, you still do have jump on spacebar for when you have to do any normal spacebar related activities. Like for example, if you need to jump on Genji, you can hold spacebar, stuff like that. So it's not mutually exclusive by any means but the option should always be there. 
Now this next one is one that I don't personally use, but enough people use it and I can see enough merit that I'm going to include it here anyway. It's just my personal habit that I don't do this. So on Zenyatta, E by default is Discord Orb. And this can be a little bit awkward because you might need to do some weird hand gymnastics to both strafe and discord at the same time. So a lot of players choose to put Zenyatta's E ability, his ability 2, on right click and his second fire on middle mouse button. This way you can spam your discord orb freely the same way you could with Tracer and you use your middle mouse button to do the barrage. This does really improve your ability to move around while discording on Zenyatta. However, the reason I don't use it, besides personal habit, is that it messes with your aim a bit. First of all, having secondary fire be middle mouse button is a, a bit strange for most players. Most, most players will find it more difficult to aim with middle mouse button than with middle click. Also, you discord often and you want to shoot at the same time you're discording. And so if you're clicking both of these buttons at the same time, it will mess with your aim a little bit. That's why I like to have the Discord Orb on the keyboard and the shooting on the mouse. That way my aim is completely unimpeded whenever I Discord. But really it's a trade-off. One way is going to be better for moving around, and one way will give you a little bit better aim for those of you who, are, who really frag out on Zenyatta. So I, I don't think that either way is better. It's really up to your own personal preference. But certainly it's something you should try out. And uh, for a lot of people, they've, show, they've said that it's really improved their Zenyatta play immediately right off the bat. All right, now this last one is one that I've been trying to switch to. It, it's a hard habit to break, but I do think that it's technically better than the default keybind. So by default, to scope in is right click. Now, it's okay, but there's a couple problems with this, especially when it comes to a hero like Anna. First of all, Anna has her sleep dart. Bam. And by default, that is bound to left shift. And it's a bit strange, it's a bit out of most players' comfort zones to be triggering an ability with a keyboard and then aiming it with the mouse. Normally you click a button on the mouse and you aim it, which makes it work kind of against your muscle memory to click shift and then try to aim your sleep. Normally it's much more natural to click a button on the mouse. And so you want to put your sleep dart on right click. It makes it much easier to aim. I've tried it and almost all players unanimously say right click on sleep makes it much easier to aim. However, the problem is that your scope is bound to right click. So what can we do about that? And what is the other issue with that? So normally when you aim, you use your left mouse button to fire. The result is that the left side of your hand is, uh, is tense. So you're used to aiming with the left side of your ham, hand being tensed up because you're clicking with that finger, your left index finger. Now, if you are holding down the scope, now suddenly your hand is different. Now your entire hand is tensed up, which makes it different aiming down the scope than aiming normally. That's why, for example, with me, I play so much Anna and Widowmaker that my scope aim is really good. I can flick from all sorts of crazy distances with my scope, but my left, but my regular left click aim is not nearly as good, especially, I mean, I can't, like playing McCree and stuff is really miserable for me. The reason for this is because what I explained before, you know, when you're aiming down the scope with Anna or something, your hand is in a different position than when you're aiming normally. So what can we do about this in the keybinds? Well, if we go to a hero like Anna with the scope, her secondary fire is obviously on right click. We can change this to be a side mouse button. Now remember that we have melee on the back and I prefer actually having the scope on the front as opposed to the back. So we're gonna keep it like that, have the scope on the front. What this does is now it's still the same as when you're aiming normally because now still the left side of your hand is tensed up just as if you'd be aiming without the scope and it makes it much more natural. Plus, because of this, we can change our grenade ability one, to, or sorry, our, our sleep ability one to right click. And now we can use right click for sleep and we can use the side buttons for our scope and it feels just the same as if we weren't using the scope, which means my aim is really bad <laughs> because I'm not bad, because I'm not good at aiming with my left, the left hand side of my hand tense. But I'm gonna try to learn because I think that this is technically better.
There are a bunch of tiny little micro improvements you can make, but most of those are custom to just you. So I'm interested in hearing in the comments below what your favorite keybinds are because uh, everyone's different and different people can learn from different things. All right, hope to see you there and I'll see you tomorrow. Never forget to stay positive and have a great day. Peace out.